You know, you can't be too thin, too rich, or have too many lights on your motorcycle. Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Cruise Man on a beautiful Saturday afternoon. 65 degrees, can you believe it? That's unbelievable in February, or is it February? No, it's still the end of January. <laughs> I don't even know what month it is. Nevertheless, we got 65 degrees at the end of January, that's uh, pretty amazing. So I am heading out for a little ride. I thought I would take a second to introduce you to some uh, pretty exciting new things I just added to my 2018 Goldwing. But before I get into that, I need to take a second to thank Bon Armor for sponsoring this video. Now, Bon Armor makes armored riding gear, pants and shirts for men and women for all different riding styles. And what I personally love about Bon Armor is you can wear their gear underneath your riding jeans or your riding jacket. And in fact, I've got Bon Armor on right now under my jeans. And what I'll do is I'll take the armor out of my Olympia air glide jacket and I will put the Bond armor on underneath it. I feel like it gives me much better impact protection and it's super comfortable and lightweight. And I'll put their website down in the description of this video and because you're a Cruise Man's Garage subscriber or viewer, you'll get a 15% discount if you use our special code that's on the screen. So thanks Bon Armor for sponsoring my video today. But today I'm excited because I've got my brand new, you can see them here, my Muth signal mirrors for the 2018 Plus Goldwing. Not just Muth signal mirrors, but these are sequential turn signal mirrors. And, you know, I had these on my 2007, I had them on my 2012, and I absolutely love them. You know, you can't be too thin, too rich, or have too many lights on your motorcycle. And so, when it came time, for Muth to release these, I couldn't wait to get my hands on a set. Now by the time you see this video, I'll already have out my installation video on how to install the Muth mirrors on your 2018 Plus Goldwing. And it may seem fairly daunting at first, but it really isn't that bad. It'll probably take you a couple hours if you've never taken off your middle cowl before. Or if you've never re removed the rear view mirrors, I'm saying two to three hours maybe to install these mirrors. Now these Muth signal mirrors come in a couple of different configurations. I've got the blue glass. I like the blue because it kind of cuts down on the glare. If somebody comes up from behind with headlights on, it kind of helps in that. Or if the sun's behind you, it kind of cuts that glare. And I really like it. And, it. and it's not bad at night either. I know some of you ride after dark a lot. It really doesn't hamper your visibility that much at night. I like the blue glass, but they also come in the standard chrome, what they call chrome glass, which is like your factory mirrors. And you can choose between amber or red LEDs. Now I have the amber. I just like the amber, but uh, of course you could pick whatever color you want. Now these are visible, you know, from somebody coming up from the rear as you're, you know, preparing to make a turn. They can see these mirror lights. But I think where they really add a huge value is when you go to change lanes. So when you change lanes, the person uh, behind you to your left or to your right makes it much easier for them to see your intentions and know what you're doing. 
Now, I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about how do they affect the viewing area of the mirror. And honestly, uh, I don't even know they're there. They're integrated so well into these mirrors that you don't really even notice them until you turn on the turn signals. And even though these mirrors are a little smaller in size than the previous Goldwing mirrors, which were massive, they were almost like a car mirror, uh, I really, I don't think you're going to notice it. I think, I think you'd be fine with it. So I'm very excited to have these Muth sequential signal mirrors on my Goldwing because uh, now that I've got my tail blazers and my path blazers and my Muth mirrors, I've almost got this bike set up just like I had my previous Goldwing. And like I say, you just can't have too many lights. The more noticeable you are, the better. Now I first learned about Muth mirrors before I even had a Goldwing because my brother had them on his Corvette. He has a 2001 Corvette and uh, it has the uh, C5 and it has the Muth mirrors on it and that's where I originally learned about Muth mirrors was from him and he was a huge fan. So when I learned that they made them for the Goldwing, uh, it was on my list of things to get. So make sure you check out my installation video of the Muth signal mirrors and I will put all the information down in the description of this video for you. I will also tell you that our sale continues and this is probably the last sale on my 2018 plus Goldwing maintenance videos that we're going to have for some time uh, using the code YouTube. It's kind of in celebration of our 20,000 subscribers. I mentioned it to you on my last motor vlog. So now's a great time to get those videos. And that, that promotion is going to end here pretty quick. So if you want to save some money, now's the time to order those maintenance videos. I also have a couple of new products that I will be installing in the next few days. One of them will be on the 2018, and one product I have is actually for the previous generation Goldwing. I'm going to have to secure a previous generation Goldwing so that I can do that installation. And I uh, think you're going to be pretty interested in these as well. And they're both lighting-related products. So it's been really fun to see this uh, 2018 plus Goldwing mature to the point that it all the aftermarket products are now coming out for this Goldwing. And you can't see my odometer, but I am at about 14,989 miles right now, which means I'm just about ready to turn 15,000 miles. Probably tomorrow I'll turn 15,000 miles on this Goldwing. And you know what that means. That means another review, cruise man's review, after 15,000 miles of owning this Goldwing. What do I think? There are still some things I've learned, even between the 10,000 mile and the 15,000 mile. So, for those of you interested, if you don't already own a 2018 plus Goldwing and you're considering it, I will definitely, you'll definitely want to watch that video because I'll clue you in to some of my criticisms, some of the things I've really grown to love about the bike, some of the things that I've grown to dislove or dislike about the bike. So you'll want to make sure to watch that video as well. That'll be coming up before too long. I've got a list of videos and topics for videos. As long as you're armed, I'll bet I get three emails a week from people suggesting all different kinds of video topics that they want to know about. There's just a ton of interest in this 2018 plus Goldwing. 
really isn't a lot of interest in it. So that's all for today. I'm not going to bore you with any more of my ramblings. I'm going to enjoy this beautiful Saturday. And I hope it's beautiful wherever you are. And if you're out riding, make sure you ride safe. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you next time on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.